Hey guys, how you doing today? It is, what is it? It's Tuesday, May 28th, and I was trying to do your readings earlier, but I had this wonderful guest. If you're watching, hi Amy. Amy came and brought me this carnelian stone. Beautiful, yeah? So I'm adding it to my stones, and literally after talking with her and her boyfriend Maurice for the longest time, I started vibrating. Um, I've never really truly stopped downloading since February 25th, but I can feel the energy right now. Um, for a minute, I thought I was feeling earthquakes, but obviously um, the earth is not continually shaking for the last half an hour, so it's me. <laughs> um, we do have, where, where are we? We have the moon in Aries, and it's conjuncting Chiron at five degrees. We also have what I call a lucky or unlucky T-square, okay, involving, well, it exits through Neptune and Pisces, okay, and this involves Mercury and Gemini, and Jupiter and Sagittarius, yeah, I am vibrating, um, it feels like, um, it almost feels like anxiety coming on, but I'm happy, <laughs> so it's not anxiety, it's almost like vibrating with joy, so I was thinking, and, um, I actually looked up the graph to see if that T-square was affecting me because that joyful feeling, it, for me, that's my Jupiter Jupiter and Sagittarius. <laughs> um, kind of crazy. Also, something else that I noticed today that I had said to somebody, I had not said it to anybody before, but I had this um, Himalayan salt crystal lamp, um, the, pink, the pink salt, and I've had it for a year. And since we officially opened in April, I've had this thing plugged in and it sweated initially at first, but I've never unplugged it since then. And I've noticed that it's not had any sweating in about the last six months. So I started, as I was talking um, with, with this friend, Amy, who's actually my best friend's good friend from back in the days. She's also another car, uh, card reader. Her name is Amy Monahan, and uh, I'll see if I can get you guys the link to her website. I think it's happyandbeyond.com. I'm not sure. I'll try and leave it in the description when I post this. I can't remember because my brain is like really jammed right now. Even my brain's like vibrating. <laughs> Everything is vibrating. But I mentioned to her, and I actually noticed this the other day, but for some reason it was pointed out to me while they were here. It's like Spirits was saying, look. Tell them, tell them about the lamp. And this lamp has not sweated in over six months. Um, it's kind of tripping me out, but then I kind of realized that since I am a portal, in time portals, these kind of rules like sweating because of moisture doesn't apply. Okay, so I'm going to leave it, leave that there and leave it at that. Okay, so numbers of the day, 28 and 27. 28, there is a balancing power or a balancing team or a balancing intimacy. Eight to me is the number of legacy. It's also ability to deal with life, okay? So it is power, it's empowerment. And when we have eight and two or the number 28 together, it is like a balancing intimacy, a balanced team, or a power team, actually, or an empowered uh, balance, empowered team, empowered um, intimacy. And then we have 27, which is about uh, enlightenment, uh, enlight enlightenment that brings balance, or enlightenment as to a team, or uh, enlightenment as to intimacy within a team, or partnership, or relationship, okay? Additional transits, we have five and five. We literally have three five straight uh, three straight fives across the board. So that's changes, okay? Definite changes, gifts, and surprises. And then we have 18 and 18, which is the number of healing, okay? It's healing through inspiration or being an inspiration at healing. Uh, it's also those equal nine. So we have three fives and three nines. So there could be a change. There could be some extreme emotional happiness there could also be crying because nine is also a purge or an ending i wasn't compelled to say like the negative things today so i feel like this is positive and you know the vibrating i'm doing right now the jupiter in sagittarius um it's kind of tripping me out where's it at this jupiter in sagittarius is at um the t square oh it's at 21 degrees okay mine is at 29 degrees but 
Wow. Okay, so it's personal in my chart. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we also have the number 20, so it's about new intimacy, new teamwork, or a new balance. It could be a new partner. Who knows? Okay, but like I said, three fives and three nines. Purge, happiness, crying, change, or endings. Um, endings in being out of balance with power, okay, because you realize something. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally vibrating. Okay, so I explained to you already, yeah, the T-square, how it exits through Neptune and Pisces. So it's basically a lucky opportunity uh, for some information or another extraordinary opportunity to practice what you have learned. Are you coming from a higher perspective? Okay, have you learned? <laughs> it's your chance to show what you've learned. The universe is watching you. All right, guys, let's see what the energy story is for the day. Get out. <laughs> Look, the truth didn't want to come out. Ooh, look at that already. Princess and King of Swords. Nice. I mean, without even looking at all the cards together, I can tell that somebody is growing in their thinking and somebody else has matured in their thinking that's not saying that that one person isn't mature already but it's like with the uh, t-square and the jupiter and sagittarius component the uh, capability of expanding or the expansion capability possibility is um enhanced oh look at that oh okay This didn't touch, so this is a different story. All right, first off, Princess of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Princess of Swords can be fighting for an idea. It's also spying. It can also be like stalking or checking up on somebody. Could even be checking in with somebody. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, guys, I'm just going to let you know right now with Uranus and Taurus, there's always the chance that somebody could suddenly steal from you. Okay, they could steal your heart, they could steal your ideas, they could steal your material possessions, they can steal your money. This right here is saying that you're being watched. They could be scoping you out. So make sure you take extra measures. Make sure all your windows are locked, um, your front door is locked your uh, guard dog is loose in the yard uh, make sure everything is secure always lock your doors when you leave your car keep your wallet on you watch your purse okay because the four pentacles this reminds me of taurus energy okay being possessive uh, it's also greedy and it's also not opening up not being vulnerable okay so with the princess of swords the card of spying stalking and peeking this is like somebody's scoping out your shit, okay? Somebody's eyeballing you for something that you have. They want it. Not necessarily are going to act on it, but this could be just the initial stages. They're checking you out to see what you got. Now, this can be bad in terms of physical theft or theft of physical possessions, but look, there's all these eyes. The spying, and then we got two eyes up here and one eye down here. So maybe you're watching somebody who's planning a theft or you're keeping your eye on somebody you feel is suspicious because they've taken something from you before or mm -hmm. possessions for in the home. Yeah, guys, make sure your home is locked up with the four. I feel that's really um, having to do with the home. We got Mars and Cancer too, so this literally could be war in the home or war on the mother or conflict with the parents or this can be uh, 
uh, what do you call it? Uh, with along with war, we've got like uh, weapons, ammunition, and warrior. So literally, this could be home invasion. Somebody's being scoped out for home invasion, or this could be somebody entering your home, or you could be saying, "I got robbed," or "I got cheated," or um, "I got ripped off." Okay, so there could be, and there has been instances of a lot of ripping. Okay, so this tells me that these people are watching. Okay, they're casing. Somebody's being cased. It's also communicating ideas matter of factly. Okay, so this could be a message like somebody's expressing that. There's robberies going on, or there's going to be a lot of talk about robberies. The Four of Pentacles, even though I'm associating with Taurus energy, it's the Sun and Capricorn. So with Sun and Pap Capricorn, it's like somebody feels powerful when they're taking something from you. Maybe they've taken advantage of your oh, taking advantage of your vulnerabilities. So this can be a physical manifestation. So it can actually be property, or I almost want to say rape. It could also be home invasion. Ideas. Or it could be somebody's brewing to steal something. Brainstorming. Like the eyes with the clouds and the electric. Brainstorming. A sudden idea. Or a sudden... Um, the, the lightning also reminds me of the Uranus. So it could be Uranus and Taurus. That's why I'm relating it with this. There's always somebody watching. But see, the thing is... I feel like everything I'm seeing over here, somebody may have been ripped off already or you're getting ripped off right now or you're about to get ripped off in some way or another. Okay, they could be ripping off your songs. They could be ripping off your ideas with the Princess of Swords. Or this could be somebody stealing your meme on Facebook. <laughs> somebody is like watching your Facebook and stealing all your memes today. <laughs> um, what else am I seeing? Even if somebody steals from you, we don't want you to lose your shit over it because these are earthly possessions, for one. For two, even though they're watching, there's another eye watching them. So they could be, this could be an investigation, okay? It could be surveillance. The thieves who are casing are now being watched, okay? The people who are doing the stealing have another eyes on them and they don't even know it. Ooh, hold on. Okay, guys, hold on. I gotta just clear the air here. <laughs> I'm next door to a restaurant, so lucky me. When they clean their grease traps, I get to smell it. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna have to cover that for a second. I figure I'd take you guys on a trip with me for a second. <clears throat> so I can keep talking to you. Um, Nine of Pentacles and Prince of Cups. Nine of Pentacles is usually about abundance. It's also being single. It's also being protective of your energy, not enabling other people or not unnecessarily spending your energy. In fact, um, collecting it in order to manifest something. And a lot of you guys are trying to manifest your Prince Charming. Prince of Cups, okay, Prince Charming. This is a message of love. So some of you guys just, feel, you feel like you're out and about, you're by yourself, or you're alone, or somebody's left you, or you've left them. Or if this is a family member, there was previously a squabble, okay? There could have been some bitchy communication and where things were expressed in anger, as with the lightning bolt. Things were expressed in anger and the truth of feelings and how somebody felt about something was not expressed. Okay, They're, they've got to do some inner work because they're not opening up. And like I said, they may not even realize that's it, but they may have realized that they've expressed this the wrong way. Okay, And some of us are just, we just want to be loved. Okay, We want to know that we are loved. So for some, this is young. This is young energy, Prince of Swords and Princess of Cups. It can be an apology. So some of you guys may be trying to manifest an apology. And some of you guys are trying to manifest somebody that will court you. Someone that will... Um, what do you say? Treat you 
for what you're worth. Somebody who sees you at your true value. Okay, this could have been you telling somebody, you don't value me. Okay, you don't treat me right. You're not giving me the proper attention or you're not doing things properly. You could be too selfish. Okay. I need a little bit of space for myself to do what I got to do. I'm sorry. I love you. I completely forgot where I was because I had to pause it a second ago and I got downloads incoming right now so my face is getting hot. Princess of Swords, Prince of Cups. This is, yeah, you could be hoping for an apology. Or you could have left the situation or you were forced to leave the situation and you need to be apologizing. Either way, there's some kind of reparation going on here. And it doesn't look like there's any anger expressed. It looks like it's distant. Okay, so somebody may need time away, some space with the Nine of Pentacles in order to process their feelings about whatever happens. They love you, though. You know, Prince of Cups. They, they feel very strongly for you. So like I said, this could be in a relationship, a business partnership. It could be a family member. It could be your best friend. It could be a neighbor. It's somebody that you care about. Okay, somebody that you have an intimate relationship. Okay, this is not the person that comes and visits you at work every day that you don't have anything to do with other than work. This is, you know, somebody that you would spend intimate time with um, together. This is not a casual acquaintance. This is somebody in which you have some kind of energy investment. So it feels like that there was this drain. There's definitely some headbutting here. But yeah, somebody's sorry. Um, let them take the space or take the space if you need it. Okay, the love is there. The love will still be there when you come back. But some people just need time alone to process and think. Okay, and thinking they are with the Princess of Swords. Okay, what do we got here? Seven of Wands and Four of Cups reversed. King of Swords. For some of you guys, you're completely cutting that person out just because... Um, not just with a uh, with a break, you're completely cutting them out, okay? And it's not it's not because of them. It has nothing to do with you being dissatisfied with the relationship. Oh, the person that that you left behind. This is intelligence, knowing how to play the game. Then we have reevaluating the love relationship, not even thinking about it because it's reversed. Okay. So the love relationship is not even, it's not touching you right now. It's not disappointing you or you're not even thinking about it. I think you're just going to trust love because this person does love you and you know this. Okay. The love is there. You just have to work things out after a period of space okay the seven of wands reversed not having the courage so somebody may have complied with your request for space or to leave or to be single because they couldn't speak up and be honest about their feelings instead it looks like they caved to restlessness, anger. They had this pressure built up and they expressed it in the wrong way and it came out as bitchy. I think they've recognized that and they're reconsidering how they acted. So this is a correction for bitching. 
within the self. They realized that they said the wrong things. They did not come across the way that they intended to. And they understood that they were weak. That's why they blew up. Now they need to make some reparations to you, or if this is you, you need to figure out what to do, okay? Because it feels like catastrophic catastrophic events happen emotionally very heavy energy mm. what do we got sword swords physical physical emotional emotional and one action so there's been a lot of emotions a lot of thoughts and very little action in fact this kind of gives makes me feel like lack of action it feels like nothing is moving forward there's only thoughts about what is Okay, Justice and the Star. Oh, here's that 11 and 17. I've been, uh, my girlfriend has been seeing 707 a lot. That is her father's birthday. And I've been doing the calendar into July and it, the date 77 kept coming up. And so did 711 and 717. I don't know if those are key dates for anything, but it feels like maybe another door unlocking. Every time I see like a series of three, like they give me dates. Okay, and I've been seeing 11, uh, 7, 77, 77 has been up my ass, and so has 711, and, you know, I see 7s and 11s, all combinations thereof, so here we have justice and the star, so some of you guys are hoping to be honestly represented, you're hoping that people see you as you truly are, and others, you're hoping that somebody openly expresses what they truly feel, and some of, some of them are showing who they truly are whether it's ugly or not it all depends on everybody's personal natal chart right so there may have been uh, some issues with children conflicts with the parents um, that's Mars and cancer so is the uh, invasion of the home or like guns guns and knives in the home theft kidnapping Home invasion. So there could be some things going on in the courts right now where people are being served their justice. Okay, They're being revealed for the thieves that they are, for the treachery that they've done. Justice is Libra. It's also Libra. This is the only energy that's standing out to me right now, Libra. So this could have to do with children. It could have to do with young children that are thieves or younger people. Uh, when I say younger, sometimes I feel it's teenagers, but I'm getting like in the 20s. So somebody in their 20s. Okay, they told me, look at this. So maybe 24 years old. I'm thinking somebody in the 20s, but 24 just caught my eye. Because I was going to say 20 something. And then they said, look at the card. And I looked. At the card right at the four so somebody who's approximately 24 years of age I don't feel that this person actually for the 24 year old it feels like a woman like I said, early 20s, 2024. Like she may be going to court for something having to do with her children. Some of you guys are going to be getting your children back. Okay, because the justice is Libra. Balancing the scales, it's everything that you'd wish for. But the star is also Aquarius. This is having hope after revealing some information that tells the truth of the matter. Yeah, somebody was praying for some kind of contract or document or sentence to come through. So this could be somebody that's sentenced. This could be somebody that's hearing back from CPS, maybe getting her children back after her children were stolen. This could be somebody coming to, uh, coming to court in terms of something being stolen. This could be, uh, oh, I, I almost want to say identity theft. So yeah, there could be a Libra or an Aquarius involved here. Yeah, they're pumping the downloads through me right now, guys. 
So something's going to happen. And some information is going to be exposed. And it's going to give you hope. Guys, this could be that T-square, okay? Um, Neptune and Pisces, Mercury and Gemini, and Jupiter and Sagittarius. So somebody who fucked up before may be coming to court and they may be able to prove that they, they've learned. They've learned their lesson and they're going to do better from now on because they now have hope or they get released maybe on their own recognizance or their charges get dismissed and whatever happens at this court with with uh, the theft or with the um, children or with government stealing from the government why did I get stealing from the government maybe stealing government check oh could be like welfare fraud Somebody was accused of something, okay, but now the truth is being revealed, and it's bringing back hope for somebody. Oh, look at that. Ten of Swords reversed. Excellent. Do not stay in that energy, okay? The world is not over. There's still hope. Your world is not over. Yes, the walls may have crumbled around you, but you chose not to stay in that energy, okay? And with the Princess of Swords and King of Swords at play, it's showing that there's a balancing out. The emotions no longer have a grip on you. In fact, you've moved past the crying and the emotions into thinking mode. I'm surprised the Hermit didn't come out. Oh, Hermit didn't need to come out. We got the Four of Swords. <laughs> How's that? The Four of Swords is seclusion. It's taking a vacation. It's want to get away it's my want to get away card to where you meditate you need to have time alone we have nine of pentacles already this is all about being independent and wanting to take time alone okay so this could definitely be somebody saying i need a break oh even in the court thing this can be like please cut me a break or i deserve a break or it can be seen that you deserve a break my light is going wonky here yeah, um, after a period of reflection, you've realized that this is not the end of the world, okay, and it brought back hope. Um, this could have been somebody speaking out against you, you know, because I see Taurus as enemies too, and when we had that, the last full moon, and yes, don't get me wrong, we are coming up on the energy of the new moon in Gemini, I think that's on the third, so we're already, what is today? Five, five, six days away. Yeah, we're almost rolling into that energy, but we're still lagging on that full moon in Scorpio with the sun and Taurus opposition where what was in the dark comes to light. Okay, so there was something that was exposed. It could be, you know, exposed as in vulnerable or something that came to light like a criminal or who really did it or what really happened. You know, the truth of the matter because it had been hidden or there was just no light on it at the moment. So somebody rolled with the punches okay whatever shit came down they didn't look at it as the end of the world they really had to get a grip and do a little bit of meditation to steady and calm their nerves okay and they got their hope back whatever news they're getting they got their hope back okay but they had to work really hard at it these two came up together okay so they worked really hard at steadying their nerves. They worked really hard. Um, they could. This could be like working out hard, okay? <laughs> Not allowing this to get to you, but doing a physical workout and working yourself, uh, like exercising to the point where you have no energy left, okay? So you express all that energy out physically. For some of you guys, you have to think about studying a little bit more or you have to think you're thinking about the quality of your product or your service. You may feel like mm, maybe I need to brush up or I need to learn a different aspect or maybe I need some updated training to what I do to brush the skills up. Okay. Some of you guys are considering going back to school. Some of you guys are thinking, I wish I could go to school. And some of you guys have an opportunity to train. Some of you guys have an opportunity to study, train, teach, or learn something new. Could be you guys are learning how to manifest with the mind. 
You guys are learning to look at things from a different perspective. Yep, the T-square again, learning to come from a higher perspective, not to freak out every time shit hits the fan and not look at it as the end of the world. But it's really, really hard work to bring yourself back down to the point where you're still enough to listen to the inner voice. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up with the Hawaiian Healing Intentions uh, Oracle card. Oh. One of these days. I want to get the Kipper deck. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want a Kipper deck. Sorry, guys. I have to pause for a second. There it is. Ooh, there we go. Shape-shifting. The malleability. Okay, malleability. Um, to be able to bend with the breeze like a reed is what I just heard. Kuakino, transforming your body. Shape-shifting. Okay, and when we have 30, I take this to be you. The left, the left number, I take it to be you. And then, like, the number on the right, I would look at it as, even though the zero is a second number, I would address that first. Like, new, I would address the adjective first. Okay, new knowledge, joy, information, children. What else do I see with this? A new egg. New news. <laughs> this is new news. Something new. Kuakino, shape shifting. My intention is to learn from all of nature and to allow myself to shape shift when I need qualities that are not yet part of my self expression. Shape shifting is the ability to transform your energetic field into the vibrational quality of an animal, other being, or element. This common practice among indigenous shamans was used for the purpose of healing and helping others. Shape-shifting can support you to embody power, softness, strength, fluidity, or other qualities to help you balance how you interact with life. Yeah, you know, going with the flow and not doing it in a stiff way like you're being punished, but understanding that it's easier to go with the flow rather than being stiff because being stiff or rigid in, in your opinion might just break you. Whereas the soft, pliable read keeps going and comes back for more for every single wave get what i'm saying all right guys that's all i got for you today i will see you tomorrow love you take care